Oftentimes when we're capturing landscape images, our human eye can see a higher dynamic range than our camera sensors can record. Luckily, pro photographer Chris Burkhart captured these amazing photos from New Zealand, and he purposely overexposed by a couple of stops and underexposed by a couple of stops because he knew that capturing in RAW would give us the detail and that we would be able to combine these two exposures to a high dynamic range image here in Lightroom Classic CC. So I'm just gonna right click on the two images, choose Photo Merge and Merge to HDR or Control H in the future. That will bring up this preview that is set to automatically align them. So if there was any movement or if you weren't on a tripod, it would take care of it for you. It will also apply the auto setting, the auto tone, to give you a much better starting point. If there was anything actually moving in the scene, such as someone walking by or a bird flying by, you can even use the de-ghost options to lock in on one frame so that you would capture that movement and freeze it. Once I click Merge, that will actually start a background process building a new raw DNG file of the HDR scene. So with this new HDR scene, I can of course preview it and look at it in the develop module where I'm just gonna apply a couple of basic edits. The first one I'm gonna apply is switching to the new Adobe Landscape Profile to give me a much better starting point. I'm gonna pump up the exposure just a bit and add a little bit of dehaze as a finishing touch. So this is our before our other before, and our new after, all possible with Lightroom Classic CC.